Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'd really appreciate if you would take a second and hit subscribe down below. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit more of your time with me. Today, I am going to be working out my spending plan for the second week of June. This is my husband's paycheck. Uh, last week we worked mine out, I like to do mine next to each other and then I like to do my husband's next to each other. So as I said, this is my June week two spending plan. So I changed up from budget to spending plan because spending plan just makes it sound like I get to spend money. Yay! Who doesn't love to spend money, right? So just a little bit of a change that I've done. Um, I like to start with my income and what the particular item was. So this is my husband's check. This is his first check for the month of June. And we got lucky, there was holiday pay on it and he's worked almost 40 hours both weeks. So his check this week was $1,024. So we've got $1,000 to spend this week. Yay! We haven't had one of these in a while. Um, I really like holiday pay, however, at the same time, it's it's a lot of work that he's having to do to get these checks. Um, up next, we move over to cash funds. So his check funds all of our spending cash that we can go out and just spend on what we need to. Um, it starts with he gets some cash. Um, typically, he gets $200, but because this was so large, I'm going to go ahead and put $250 over there. Not to mention the fact that, well... He spent $250 recently, so we're just gonna go ahead and put it over there, and this way I don't have to figure out where it's gonna come from later. Fast food is something that we do um, go out and purchase a couple of times over the next two weeks. This is a two-week spending plan is what this is. Um, he gets paid bi-weekly, so this is what we try to stick to for that two weeks. So we put $100 over for fast food. Um, I truly believe that if I'm going to spend it, I might as well go ahead and budget for it. We are a family of three right now, um, and we get fast food maybe twice a week. And typically we stay inside of this, sometimes a little under, sometimes we do go over, it just depends on what's going on and if we have company come over. Um, gas, as always, gets $50. This is for me. So my husband's cash is $250, and that's because that takes care of his gas, his cigarettes, his little snacks along the way, all of those types of things. So you'll notice he gets a little bit more as we go through, but that's because I spend money here and there for other things, and I can take care of all of that. Up next are groceries. Um, and we have been spending over 200 but I'm going to continue to budget 200 at least for this check. Maybe next check I will up it a little bit. Um, but groceries are definitely costing more than 200 We've got to figure something out. I think I'm going to have to start get back get, getting back into couponing. I used to coupon huge and save tons and tons of money. So I think we're going to have to go back that direction because $200 isn't cutting it anymore. Um, my youngest, who still lives in the house, does get an allowance. Um, it is $10, and that's because, well, he really doesn't do much around the house, so that's all he gets. I do like to put money aside for paper products. Um, this is outside of my grocery bill. I really, how much am I putting over there? 25? Um, it <clears throat> takes care of paper towels, um, toilet paper, cleaning supplies for the house, water, that type of stuff. So I keep it out of my grocery so that I know that $200 truly is food for the house. So that's paper products. Up next is pet. Um, we put a little bit aside every week for our dog. Sometimes it gets spent, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it's bird food because my husband absolutely loves to feed the birds. So making sure we have money there. The only bill, monthly recurring bill that comes out of his check is the RV when we bought the RV. That was the agreement is that it would always come out of his check. So we pull $100 out for that. Um, I get a little bit of cash. Again, it's not a whole lot, but that's because I'm busy spending money 
for household things so it makes me feel like I've spent money and I don't necessarily need to spend so much on myself um, sometimes even when I run through a drive through and I get a fast food for myself for lunch for work some days some days it just comes out of fast food some days I actually do come and take it out of my cash it just depends on how much we've really eaten out for the last two weeks and then the last cash envelope are toiletries all of a sudden I couldn't spell and talk sorry guys and we're going to put 15 over there and again this stays separate from my grocery bill so that I can make sure that I am truly just spending 200 on groceries and toiletries and paper products I have a tendency to bulk buy so that I can just go spend a whole bunch of money and not have to do it again for a while so this totals 785 dollars when I subtract the two that leaves me with 239 dollars left to spend and we're going to spend most of it but not all of it we are going to leave some of it to the side so next up are sinking funds so my sinking funds have kind of taken a back seat and that's because right now i'm busy trying to pay down some debt i recently got a new car and it just made our debt skyrocket which puts a little bit of stress on me so i've been trying hard to reallocate funds to pay help bring down all of the debt so instead my sinking funds really have gotten nothing if they're just my general sinking funds. I do have some recurring sinking funds that always see money, which we'll do in just a second. But I've decided to take a little bit of money and put $1 into 24 sinking funds for $24. So we will see how that separates out later because I have some that just aren't growing. I haven't put money into since probably February. And I don't like that feeling. It's and. I figured this was a way to change things up and see what we can do to increase those, even if it's by a dollar. A dollar is more than what I had before. So debt pay down is going to get $5. Family birthday. Now this is a recurring sinking fund and it gets $25 from every one of my husband's checks so that we've saved $600 and basically everybody in the house gets a $100 bill for their birthday and there are six of us so it works out perfect to get that $600. Um, savings is also a recurring sinking fund for my husband's check. Um, we have a generic savings that is the touchable savings and that's what this goes into which is 15. And then tags, uh, we put $5, between $5 and $10, every one of his checks over for tags to make sure that when it's time for tags, we have all of the money. So when I add all of that up, it gives me $74. All right, so that leaves me with $165 to spend. Oh, almost went too far. And then the last thing that we do are savings challenges. We have way too many savings challenges. Again, another reason that my sinking funds aren't getting stuffed is because I'm focused on savings challenges. So in trying to do that, I've shrunk from his check what goes into savings challenges. So we've got um, a one month ahead, which I am trying very hard to fully fund before the end of this year. Um, essentially, we will have saved an extra $2,000. So put $10 over there. And then uh, we also have a Christmas savings challenge, which I'm going to put $5 into it. And then I wanted to put $20 of his check into these savings challenges. So because of that, um, I actually am going to put a dollar into a whole bunch of different ones. So we have an emergency, which will get a dollar. We've got investing, which will get a dollar. We've got a debt pay down. And it is different than what I'm doing up here. This will actually go every month to pay down the debt where this is a savings challenge. So I'll get a chunk of money and then pay down debt. And it's gonna get a dollar. And then I have a holiday savings challenge, which will get a dollar. And then our one of our daughters is not engaged yet, but we're hopeful thinking, but trying to save up a little bit. So I've got a savings challenge for a wedding for her. So that's another dollar, five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, wanted to make sure there were lots of dollars in there and that's $20. And that will bring me down to 
$145. Now, right now, I'm going to stop budgeting at this point. Um, I don't know what's going to come up between now and the next time my husband gets paid. This is kind of like a little buffer in case something happens and we need some extra for something. So I try really hard to always leave a little bit of his check in there so that if something comes up and we need to spend it, we have it to spend it. Well, if you haven't already, please take a second, hit subscribe down below. Everybody, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.